Hello, everyone, and welcome to the new episode of India IT 360's The Tech Tea Podcast. I am Divya Giri, your host and executive editor at India IT 360. Today, we have the privilege of having a conversation with the CISO of Hindujali Land Finance, Mr. Palani Kumar Arumugam. Thank you, thank you, Divya. So, can you share a bit about your professional journey? So, I am a MSc, my information technology graduate. Oh, I started my career with uh, system administrator. So, I have 25 years of experience till now. So, I gather. So, earlier I was an infrastructure uh, guy. So, then I moved to a uh, software development and I had uh, some uh, 15 years I was in uh, software development and uh, infrastructure. Then, the past 10 years, I am in information security and cyber security and taking care of that. Uh, so, my career was passed with uh, uh, Equitas Bank and uh, Veritas uh, Finance and uh, some other uh, manufacturing divisions. So, you know, I am with uh, Indusal Island Finance. So, I am taking care of uh, CISO position. So, that's my career. So, my first question to you is how has AI driven technology transformed the overall landscape of cybersecurity? Yes. Uh, AI is a good uh, initiative, good uh, um, uh, technology, uh, which helps us to make the cyber security very advanced uh, steps. Okay. So most of the things, uh, normally people will do human errors and also in delay will be there, delays will be there. So identifying is so very helpful to the cyber security in, in uh, SOC operation, so monitoring and response. It's very useful in uh, cyber security. Uh, while we are uh, identifying the threats, the vulnerabilities, and uh, that uh, time frame of to identify a threat is very less now. So we are using AI. So earlier we used to uh, detect the uh, find the false positive and all things. It will it will manually it was identified. So now AI has helped us to detect the uh, threats at the earliest and give a medication. Uh, at the earliest. So, it helps us to uh, prevent the uh, uh, this attacks at the earliest. And what's the significance of real-time threat migration in modern security? Uh, it's so the significantly, it is very important that a real-time track. Okay. So, A helps us to do the real-time track. So, wherever, somewhere, uh, uh, in, in the world, it was happened somewhere. Okay, so suddenly it was updated to the thread feeds. So in earlier, we uh, we get a thread feed from manually. We'll upload and we done all the things based on that. Our system will do all the things. So now AI will help us. AI ML is help us to do the historical data with that and it, it predict the attacks uh, and and minimize the exposure of the threats. Okay. So that's why help uh, very significantly AI help us to in cybersecurity to keep the organization very safe. According to you, why are endpoint deduction and response important in today's security framework? Uh, in today's security uh, posture, okay, security architect, uh, endpoint is the most important. First, it's the entry level. Okay, is is the uh, yes, any attacks happen in. Uh, Thing. Endpoint is the first uh, thing to as any for any threat actor to connect. Okay, so because endpoints are handled by the users, so in a cyber security, users is the human human the same user is the most vulnerable in a cyber security uh, posture. Okay, in a network. Okay, so that's the most. It is then that's why endpoint is most important. You have to protect endpoint first. So, okay, you will to stop all the exposure, all the threats uh, in from uh, endpoint itself. So, that's why endpoints are most uh, uh, powerful in a network. Okay, so but if you detect in endpoint itself, then we can stop the lateral movement and all things. If the endpoint allows the um, threat actor to enter into a network, then it is very difficult to identify well, who is in our network, with what it is happening and all things. So, any uh, laterally level, our uh, latest tools are available now, but it is very uh, difficult for us and uh, 
to detect so getting protected in endpoint itself is a very uh, easy formula and we that's why endpoint is most important in uh, cyber security how does enhanced visibility across it assets aid in proactive security measures that's the most uh, in a, in a it environment uh, it, uh, it's most in one to visibility okay visibility is the most important uh, how where what are the vulnerabilities are available what are the how the networks is uh, updated what are the uh, patches are updated what where are the vulnerabilities are available in our network so that is the most important uh, in in in, in uh, infrastructure okay so getting the uh, visibility is most important so the for that that cyber security tools and everything is most important to uh, get the uh, visibility now visibility is the most important in uh, id infrastructure then based on that only we can protect um, given a solution which solution to be used how to protect the threats how to avoid the vulnerabilities so batch update updatements all the things can be done what are the perks of securing cloud infrastructure with advanced technologies is uh, while you are using advanced technologies in cyber security okay it is a uh, it's most uh, important to take a that a greater visibility is the most first thing so we will get, have all the visibility in our single dashboard and how my network is working how my systems are working and all things and other thing is uh, easy backup and easy recovery so that is a, that we can do easily and third thing is uh, we can maintain our compliance okay what are our our, our policies they saying what is our regulators are saying so you can maintain your uh, uh, compliance very well okay so that encryption also encryption your data security and all can be uh, deployed very well okay so then we can continue with the lower cost also so we can maintain with the lower cost so instead of using uh, uh, manual and or other delays so you can reduce your uh, time also so that is the most perks in the cyber security uh, portion here yeah. how does automation streamline cyber security processes while maintaining protection at the same time uh, a cyber security uh, streamline in the fixing the errors okay so fixing the errors and fixing the issues uh easier uh, uh track of that users uh, employees mistakes and anything any um, anything someone downloaded something and some infection has happened in the network so it can be easily detected so that can be do uh, then ensure the security needs okay what are the, what to be done what what is uh, what we need what to be done all the things can be done in that uh, things okay so the third thing is reduce the consumption of timing so timing is the most important so normally a is a, after using a the cost reduced and the time reduced and the risk reduced what problems arise when integrating new security solutions with existing systems yes this is the most uh, good question okay normally in a, in a cyber security world every professional will feel this okay so they will they already the professional should cross this uh, situation okay so how whenever we bring a new solution new new uh, solution or new tools okay so how it will fit to our existing legacy systems how will to next legacy lab uh, this networks so how will integrate with our existing solutions that is the most uh, uh, things to be taken care of while we are implementing new solutions okay so that one thing is uh, integrity issue inter uh, interchange interconnectivity issues okay so, so how lack of interconnectivity makes one system to another another solutions and then thing then uh, broken functionalities so how uh, one same, same duplicate uh, actions okay one solution will have same functionality another solution security solution will also same sectional uh, functionality so earlier functionality can be a uh, better solution for a new solution or new can be better than earlier one so identifying that and which can be used which can be disabled which can be enabled that is the most critical uh, thing and this thing and uh, newly if we implemented a new solution in our network suddenly that 
false positive will get alarm will get increased okay our soft team will started alarming on a lot of false positives are coming on because of the new arrival of the new solutions okay so that to be taken care and uh, uh, lack of knowledge skills for a new solution okay once we can implement we can implement anything but if our existing um, staff or existing manpower is don't have the skill for the of the new uh, security solution then it will give, create a more uh, issue in uh, in our security cyber security uh, controls okay so that to be taken care while we are going for a new solutions yeah. so as per your view what role do you see ai playing in the evolution of cyber security as per my thing okay so a is a, um, done a fantastic uh, support in a, in a cyber security so we are also using a threat actors also using a okay so they also be as more than us they are using more okay so how threat actors using a can be predicted by a, a only it is a by a threat actor is using a, a we can uh, uh, predicting by our manually is very difficult for us to take so a will know how to predict and all this timing and dynamic approach a will take based on the situation based okay based on the threat based so that that approach is a can help us very well uh, compared to the manual process and all things and adapting on the evolving threats okay any, any new threats okay how at the time is in second on second before what was the threat was created okay so that can be immediately analyzed based on our historical data and our whatever the data already we have what are the logs already we have so from that logs it will predict and identify the threats okay so what are the threats, potential threats so how we can uh, uh, direct and how we can uh, mitigate that threats okay so that a will do all things so they can a can manage massive data okay so compared to a massive of our if your network grows well grows so data of uh, that security logs logs collecting the logs is will be very high so analyzing and uh, monitoring and uh, closing the false positive is very difficult for a manual process so in that a is doing a massive job in that what crucial factors should be considered when selecting advanced security solutions while you are selecting so we are going for a you are at a deciding you are going for a solution so we can protect our network okay so at that time of uh, planning you have to you should not go with the, what is available so someone is using we they are using so market they are the market leaders so they are the product uh, currently uh, in more advertisement they are giving they are giving offers okay all well, should not go with that okay so you have to uh, go gone through your uh, existing network okay existing what is our uh, legacy systems what are the systems we have so how the network is uh, permitted what the capacity of our network okay so what we need so what we need so how our existing system was protected okay so whether we need this so then understand the security in the market market level market level how the market is running how the others peers are using that how what are the products are using because the entire the same solution from a low cost to higher cost the same solution is available in the market so that we need to check whether the affordable what the solution we can affordable how the solution will help us what the skill set we have so what are the our uh, own skill set if the skill set is not available with us what is the cost will be okay so how the cost will be get increased so that need to be direct so that need to be uh, analyze and you have to get the data and uh, you have to focus on the traffic flow how the traffic will flow if the if i get the solutions or how may it will impact my existing network and existing our systems so that need to be uh, detailly discussed and details should be the requirement to play and planned and uh, to be uh, written so that plan to be reduce uh prepared reduce to uh, uh with the solutions so which solution you are going to use okay so the, you have to plan, create a plan so how it was 
uh, implemented, which solution to be selected, how it is to be integrated, who to be monitor, whom, whom to be take care of this. So the, all the plans should be arrived. And based on that, you have to select your solutions and you have to implement. Don't go with the others. I uh, think some of your peers are using, he is using, that is using. So don't, if you go gone with that, it is very difficult for us to come back. Okay. So once you implemented, if you identified that system is not working, it is giving um, a lot of threats to us. It is giving a disturb our exit network. Then coming back is very difficult for us. So again, you are retaining your old existing system is very difficult for us. So while you are going for a new solution, take all this in your account and plan accordingly. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you guys found our discussion insightful and inspiring. Stay tuned for more exciting conversations with industry leaders. And remember to follow us for the latest updates and insights. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more insightful discussions on our channel. See you in our next episode.